Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to talk about calculating probabilities with marbles or M&Ms or candies, whatever you have, Skittles. Um, and there's two different things you can do when you're drawing a marble or, or a piece of candy out of a cup. And that is you can replace or you cannot replace. And so I want to look at two examples. And the first example I'm going to look at is without replacement, which just means once you take something out of the bag or the, or the box or whatever, you don't put it back in. So this particular problem says a bag contains seven red marbles, nine white marbles, seven blue marbles, and four black marbles. You draw four marbles at random without replacement. So you're not putting them back in once you draw them out. And then it tells us that because these are small probabilities, please use four significant digits. Okay, so notice the total number of marbles is seven, nine, seven, four. Add those up, you get 27 marbles. We want to know the probability that all the marbles are red is, and so in order to figure that out, we want to multiply four different times the probability for each draw, because there's four draws. So that first time I reach in the bag, there's seven red marbles out of 27. So I have a seven out of 27% chance of getting that. And then the next time I reach in, there's gonna be one fewer red marbles in there because I just took one of those out. So now there's only six marbles out of 26 marbles in the bag. So six out of 26 this time. And the next time I reach in, now I've taken two red marbles out, so I have five left. I've taken two marbles out, so I have 25 left out of my original 27. And then at last, finally, I have to reach in, there's four red marbles left and there's 24 in the bag. So each time when you do not replace, the number of marbles or M&Ms or whatever it is, is going down by one. Multiply all that out on your calculator and then round that to have four significant digits. So notice this looks a lot longer than four, but when you have zeros in the front like this, those are not considered significant. So the one, three, four, five is the significant part of that. And for us, it'd be 0 0.001994 rounded off to four significant digits. All right, what's the probability that none of the marbles are red? Well, none of the marbles being red is 20 because we have 27 altogether, seven of which are red. And so I start off with 20 chances out of 27 to draw something that's not red. I don't put it back in. Now I have 19 chances out of 26. I don't put either one of those back in. I'm down to 18 chances out of 25. I don't put the first three back in, I'm down to 17 chances out of 24. So each time I'm going down, down, down. And if I want to round that long answer to uh, four significant digits, that'd be 0 0.2761. And the second example, it is with replacement, which means every time we draw something out of the bag, we put it back in. And this one, instead of telling you there's a certain number of marbles, it's giving you a percentage instead. So there's kind of two different ways to work that I'm going to show you. Um, we have 60% red, 20% white, 14% green, and 6% blue. Notice that if you add your percentages up, those add up to 100%. That's how we, when we deal with, the, with percentages, we think of them in, as 100. You draw three marbles out at random with replacement. Every time you draw it out, you put it back in. So instead of going down by one, we're always going to have the same denominator. So these are very small probabilities again. And really, I copied this from a question, but I might say, you know, that you don't have to have four significant digits if you don't want to. But for this particular problem, I'm going to stick with it. What is the, the probability that one marble is red and two are blue? So what I know is that I'm dealing with percentages which are always based on 100. So there's a 60% chance I would draw a red marble, so that's 60 out of 100. But there's a 6% chance that I would draw a blue marble, so that's 6 out of 100. Since I'm drawing three in a row, that's a multiplication problem, 60 times 6 times 6 on the top, and 100 times 100 times 100 on the bottom, and that gives me 0 .00616. This answer only has three significant digits. You could add a zero to the end to make that a fourth significant digit. But since this is percentages, it would be easier just to work it with the percentages that were given. That is 60% is 0 0.6, 6% is 0 0.06, and we have one red and two blue. And if we just multiply those together, we could get the same answer without having to set those fractions up. Again, I don't need to set up the fraction because I have percentages. And I'm not changing this from 100 to 99, 98 because I am replacing 
every time I draw one so I continue to have 100% in the bag from when I started. What is the probability that none of the marbles are white? Well, up here we can see that 20% of our marbles are white, so the other marbles make up 80%. So again, I'm going to draw three marbles, so I have 80% chance of getting that marble that's not white. And 80 times 80 times 80 over 100 to the third power is this. And if I wanted four significant digits, I would have to add a zero to the end of that. Make sure and read the directions in your problem to see if you need that. And if I wanted to write this as a problem just using percentages, I can see that I really just have 0.8 three times or to the third power. So 0.8 to the third power is a shortcut way of doing that problem. All right, I hope that helps you and have a fantastic day.